Here's how to get a custom cursor inside Roblox in 2025. If this video helps you, all I ask in return is that you subscribe. Let's go. Now, the first thing you want to do is get the cursor that you want. There's multiple sites that you could get them from, but we're going to be using also Skinner and I'm going to leave this link in the description. I just choose whichever cursor you want in here. I'm going to take this purple one because it fits the channel. And then once you select it, just hit download. That is going to give us a zip file, which we're going to place in our desktop. You can find that zip file here on your recent download history or within the downloads folder in your computer. Now, once you have this zip file in here, you have to extract it. So just just right click on it and hit extract all. And if you don't have anything to extract that, you might have to install 7-Zip or WinRAR to extract this file. Now, once you extract it, you should get a folder which contains your cursor file. Now you could delete the zip file that we had downloaded. Now, once we have our cursor, we need to resize it so it fits inside Roblox. Then you wanna click in the second link in the description, which will place you right here in Photopea, which is kind of a free Photoshop. Just click start using, and then right here, click new project. Now in here on the project or the width and the height of this project, you wanna put 64. You can name this whatever you want. I'm gonna name it Roblox cursor. Now, very important that for the background, you choose transparent because that's gonna make it a PNG and just hit create. Now, once you have your project open, just go ahead and put the image that we downloaded inside Photopea right here and just make sure to resize it so it fits perfectly in the middle and so it's right on the center. As you can see, it did it automatically for me, but if it doesn't do it, you're gonna have to do that yourself. Now, once you got your cursor center and resize, head over to file, head over to export as, and then choose PNG right here, the first option. Now, right here, just make sure it is 64 by 64 and hit save. I recommend placing it here on your desktop so we could do this easier. Now, once you have this file in your computer, you wanna add it into Roblox. For that, head over to your search bar and type in Roblox. And then once you see the Roblox player, right click on it and click open file location. Now in here, we're going to right click one more time in Roblox player and we're going to click open file location one more time. Now, once you're in here, you're gonna scroll all the way up and you're gonna go over to content and you're gonna choose textures. In here, I scroll down a little bit and choose cursors right here. Now in here, you have all the cursors that are used by Roblox, but we're going to change the one used by your mouse. So choose keyboard mouse right here, and then we're gonna create a new folder in here, and we're gonna call it backup. And that backup folder is gonna be there in case you wanna get all your cursors back later on. So what you wanna do now is drag and drop the arrow cursor as well as the arrow for cursor into the backup folder. And now go ahead and copy the file that we had created earlier, our custom cursor. Just go ahead and right click on it and click copy come back into this folder and just paste it in here. And what you wanna do is rename this file into arrow cursor, just like that. Make sure you name it exactly like me, just name it arrow cursor. Then you wanna go ahead and press Control V one more time or right click and paste one more time to paste another custom cursor. And you wanna rename this one into arrow far cursor. Just like that, arrow for cursor, that PNG, just make sure it's named like that. Now, if you guys wanna replace any other cursor, you're gonna have to do the same process. Just get rid of the default one, paste yours in there and name it exactly the same as the default one was named. You're gonna have to do that process for any other cursor that you want to replace. And a little tip, if you wanna change the mouse lock cursor, you're gonna have to back out of the cursors folder, back into the textures folder, scroll down in here until you find the mouse lock cursor PNG, delete the mouse lock cursor PNG, and then paste your file in here, the cursor, the custom cursor that we have, and then name it mouse locked cursor, just like that. That's it. Now you could close that folder and reopen Roblox and you should have your custom cursor inside Roblox, as you can see here. Anyways, guys, that is it for this video. If this video helped you out, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.